YouTube, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Power Nine Quest. Uh, my name is Andy and I, I open up card packs. And that's what I'm doing today. Today is a Star Wars video, as, as you know if you if you already clicked on this. Um, this is the second of three videos of a Reflections booster box, which means we're gonna open up 10 packs. I'm optimistic about this being a good set of pulls because the first 10 were not that, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't that fantastic. I think we had one Lando, which is a, actually specifically Tamtel Screege, when he was acting as a bounty hunter, but he wasn't actually a bounty hunter. He was Lando. Only one main character, which means the next 20 packs have a greater chance of having some good, exciting pulls. Um, either way, uh, I said this last time, I'm gonna talk about my thoughts about the of Rise of Skywalker. I'm not gonna be too spoily. Spoily. I'm not gonna be too spoilery, but um, I'm just gonna talk about my general thoughts. So if, if you haven't seen it or you don't wanna hear about it, um, come back to this video after, after you're ready. I don't know, let's just open these packs. We are here, here's 10 glorious packs. Um, <laughs> I, you know, but before I get, there's a couple things I want to talk about before I get into the Rise of the Skywalker stuff. Um, this, this foil Darth Vader card is impossible. I've, I thought about it the other night and I was like, I think I've went through probably like 20 boxes in my life. Like, it's insane how many boxes of these cards I've went. I have pulled the ultra rare Luke, which is in this set. I've pulled ultra rares in all the other sets, but this specific ultra rare Darth Vader, it's bonkers hard to get. And I could always just buy it, and that would be the logical thing to do it, but, you know, this channel is not logical. All right, we're through the Cloud City. Um, and another thing is that on one of my other videos, I was busting a Reflections pack, and somebody was like, hey, dude, that, that Interrupt foil is actually worth, like, 20 bucks. And I was like, really? And I looked it up, and I was like, you know, I just disregard this, because I, every time I look up prices on this, like, only the Ultra Rares. Oh, a foil red, too. That's pretty cool. Um... And there we got some unlimited action and Dagobah card. Uh, that is a kid. that was when this when this first set came out. This was this is like one of your counter spells. It's awesome. Sends and alters. I think I've talked about those before. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, I was like, it's it, every time I look up prices, I'm like, you know, it's some some stuff is worth like some of the main characters are still worth, worth like 15, 20 bucks here and there. But I would never think like an interrupt thing. And I was like. I guess with the reflections two and three, it makes sense. But um, I, you know what? I, I the, the 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 people that are still into this, like the community that still plays this game, is so rad. They like make sets. Uh, it is really really cool to see. And I'm 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 such a fan of this card game, as you can tell by by this channel. Um, that you know, I, I I when I when I see the community, I'm like, oh, I'm I'm actually an idiot. Like compared to these people, like these. Props, hats off to the community. I don't keep up to date with things like prices and whatnot, um, for the, except for like the actual packs and boosters and stuff. But um, it was interesting to hear that. Yeah, uh, I learned something. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, alien. Oh, it's a foil job of the hut. Nice. That is rad. Okay, cool. We're off to a good start here, people. Just for the sake of you seeing something exciting pulled. Uh, I always like, they did a, a, I don't know if there's two or three versions of Jabba, but the other Jabba, the special edition, is not as cool. This is the Tatooine version, and it is epic. That is really, really cool. All right. Um, I don't know if I ever played with him. I was, like, kind of getting out of the game. Like, my friends and I were moving on to other games and stuff by the time Tatooine rolled around. Um, and then I, then I kind of got back into it and played with random friends uh, later on, um, when it, when the game was like shutting down for good. Uh, all right. Um, but okay. Yeah. So rise of the Skywalker. And, and in fact, it's, it's almost pointless to talk about specifically rise of the Sky, uh, rise of Skywalker. Um, because that's not my, I, I ultimately, there were some entertaining moments in it. Um, I had fun watching it for the most part, but I just think as a whole, the, all of the uh, the new trilogy is just all over. Please be a Millennium Falcon. It's not because it only costs three. Red five. Luke Skywalker's uh, X-wing. It looks. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was trying to get himself in there, and I don't think it worked in the sentence. But there it is. The X-wing. Um, very very good pull right there. I like that one. Uh, and nothing. This is a golf to a super good start. But Rise of Skywalker it was like, yeah, it was like, it was kind of cool. Like, so there was some moments that I was like, I liked. Some moments that I rolled my eyes to. Um, it had a. I like to say this. I I'm 50 50 on Last Jedi. I applaud Last Jedi for taking risks and not being like the same old Star Wars movie. But 
as far as the complaining and stuff goes in it, like all the good guys are like bickering with each other and nothing really gets done in the movie. Um, the last scene, the lightsaber or the, like the, the, the Snoke lightsaber. Ooh, Lobot. He's like a mid grade main character. Um, you'll get your special stack right there, Lobot. Um, uh, oh wow. I gotta, I have food coming. I gotta do this. Uh, I applaud it, but it, yeah, nothing much got done. Ooh, vengeance. Nice foil, foil star destroyer. Uh, with rise of Skywalker, it, it's like, it's. But, okay, but, but, here, my, sorry, my, my Uber notification messed me all up. Um, so, that being said with Last Jedi, it's still a tight movie, you know, like, from A to B. Like, from getting from the first of the movie, what am I doing, to the end of the movie, it's, it's good. It's, it's good structurally. It's like, it's like, you know, it's like proper writing. I wasn't confused. I didn't think it jumped around too much or was, like, too wild all over the place. I felt like it had the right room to breathe for what it was. I just didn't really like the story details. I wanted Luke Skywalker to be epic. You know, I wanted him to be swinging his lightsaber. Just the same, oh, Boba Fett's blaster able. Um, same Luke Skywalker we knew and whatever, that didn't happen. Okay, I can get over that. Um, so I always, I say this. I think Last Jedi was a better movie structurally, but I enjoyed pulling Princess Leia Organa. I told you I was optimistic. Killer, killer foil right there. Um, nice. Uh, we're about halfway, people. Um, so it's it's good. Um, the, Rise of, the Rise of Skywalker is more fun. I enjoyed it. Like some of the things that happened, there was a lot of good fan service in it. Um, Leia's sporting blaster rifle. There she is. She's got a she's got a weapon now. Um, it's just I don't know. It, the whole the whole problem with the whole trilogy. And I'll stop here. I don't know if you guys want to hear me talk about Star Wars movies. Um, ironically enough, during a Star Wars video. Um, is that they should have made, you know, like they didn't write Harry, she didn't, J.K. Rowling didn't write Harry Potter, like, I would just take it one book at a time. No, she had an idea that she was going to pull a, another foil star or the conquest. Um, she had an idea where it was going to go. And all good stories, you kind of, you should know where they're going to end. And kind of the big plot details. And they didn't. They just made, which is silly because Disney rocks it out of the park with Marvel. Granted, they play it safe a lot of times, but like, you're getting a good package deal with Marvel. And as far as, like, the, the when you look at the whole MCU and, like, all those movies, and they go inside, it's done really nicely. And Star Wars, like, when they get a big, the, one of the biggest franchises ever, you think they would have taken the same care. Um, no, oh, Landing Claw. Uh, so uh, that's that's my thing. I, I, I think looking back, I know Force Awakens was just a rehash of A New Hope. Like, it's beat by beat A New Hope. But I was fine with that. Like, that was the last moment that I was, like, really just, like, in love with the Star Wars, the Star Wars movies. At least, you know, I still am. I just, just the old ones, really. Um, we're, we're getting through here. I got some Indian food coming, and I gotta go eat it. I'm so, actually, I shouldn't press record. Who is this? There's oh, actually, you know what? I think that was pretty hard to pull for me. And uh, now, oh, I told you know what? I completely forgot. I totally pulled the uh, the other card. I needed Leo Organa foil, the, like the premier Leia. And I, and I pulled it just, just, sorry, I didn't film it, guys. I was just having fun by myself, busting a box. And I pulled it, and I was really excited. Um, maybe I should show you guys. And then, um, so I just need the Darth Vader for this set. That's it. Weapon of an Ungrateful Son. I think that's a very mean card. I forget. And, and my Uber's not letting me have time re to read it. Um, oh, oh, wow. We just pulled something. Foil Commander Luke. Are you kidding me? Gosh! What a good set of pulls. All right, this is the Star Wars video you guys have been waiting for. So everyone that like is in love with the new trilogy, they're like, I love the cards. I just hate what you're saying. Um, but you know what? That being said, my final thought is, guys, don't get too wrapped up. I see these comics that are like, I saw this comic of a, of a guy at his deathbed saying, I wish I would have uh, talked trash on Star Wars more on the internet, like looking back on his life. And I was like, that's such so funny. I love that comic. I'm just like, enjoy what you want. If you like the new trilogy, more of the power to you. Whatever makes you feel happy and what makes you want to just go build your own creation and whatnot, focus on that, guys. Dotcha. I played with him. Circle is now complete. Foil is the last. We got a Death Star right there. Boom. From the a New Hope set. That's rad. Um, what a good set of pulls. What a, you're supposed to be there, but whatever. I'm going to go get my Uber and then I'll do the outro after dinner.
Okay, actually I have three minutes before it get, gets here. So uh, here is my reflection. I just, I have all the cards, like reflection is just a bunch of sets, but the foils are the actual cards that are only in here. And uh, here's my sets, boom. I need to get these in actual good binders, not these rain, rain crap, at least they're D-ring, right? Uh, boom, look, there she is, I just pulled her. Super happy. Um, I will one day have every single Star Wars CCG card. I probably have like 90, like of the main sets. I have like 98%. And that's it. I hope you guys like that. Um, don't worry, we have more of this booster box. We have 10 more packs, although I just pulled a ton of stuff. We got Lobot over there. I got the normal Death Star card, Foil Commander Luke Skywalker, Foil Princess Leia Organa, Foil Jabba the Hutt, Red 5, some Star Destroyers, uh, just a fun set of pulls. Uh, we're probably not gonna beat that next time, but hopefully we'll get something cool. Hopefully we get that stupid Darth Vader card. I will pull that card. One day. It's gonna take me 40 more boxes apparently, but I've gotta go get my food. You guys have a great day. If you wanna see more from me, hit the subscribe button and I'll be back with more card opening fun very soon. Magic, Pokemon, all sorts of stuff like that. Goodbye guys. Okay, thank you guys for watching. It has been a second since I've done a Star Wars video uh, and this makes me excited to do the third part of this box. So if you want to see more of what I just did and other card games, hit the subscribe button right there and that would mean a lot, um, ironically enough. I thought I was going to say something, didn't you?